Hello everyone, it's your favorite friendly neighborhood power puff. As you can see, my hair is like, honestly, it's like, a, I look like a mop. Um, but if I put it back, it's not as bad. But it's very long, my hair. I kind of want to, I kind of want to get a haircut, but at the same time, I kind of don't. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of a predicament. Anyway, good to see everyone. Maybe I'm not seeing you, but I know you're there. <laughs> and so it's beautiful out. It's really warm. I'm just, man, super surprised it's this warm in February in Colorado. It's kind of nuts. I never would have guessed that. So... You know, it just goes to show, like, expectations um, are kind of, mm, sometimes our expectations aren't reality, but that's not what this video is about. I actually had, like, some of y'all know this artist, um, she was killed by a close friend a while ago. Her name was Selena, and she was an uh, American-born artist who sang... A lot of Spanish music. Um, I'm sure most of you know her. But if not, you can look her up. Selena. I don't remember her last name, but um, I saw the movie Selena. And my friend in back in Arizona showed me that movie. And otherwise, I would have never put that movie on myself, probably. It's kind of interesting who God connects you with. Because then he connects you with people who open up um, different realms of reality I guess to to you right and it's kind of interesting because well you learn more about yourself you learn more about others in the world when you connect with other people and it's funny because we say connect with other people but like we don't I don't think we think about it deeper than just the surface level of what that means, which is like to uh, to be in union with, like in, in, in thoughts and ideas and stuff, like to be connected to their soul in a way, to their ideas, their thoughts, their aspirations, their goals, their beliefs whether or not you agree with them or not. So to me, it's just interesting. God is cool. God has been providing a lot of knowledge and stuff, but God's also been telling me to read more, and I don't really like reading like big books, but I feel like led to, so that's my goal, I guess, or one of them, I guess. But I don't know. Anyway... So this girl, woman, Selena, had this woman that stole money from her, and she was a close friend. And um, she stole money from Selena, the singer. And she was accused of stealing, and uh, she, the woman who stole from her, asked Selena to meet her in person, and they got into an argument, and that woman killed selena right her friend her supposed friend who betrayed her backstabbed her and so this is about uh watching those who are close to you because you never know who is a good person deep within their heart you don't know their true intentions because you can connect with people but you may not connect with them fully you may not connect with every thoughts that they have and a lot of their thoughts especially if they're ill against you or jealous or envious or prideful they won't usually show those things overtly they'll show it covertly or they'll show it maybe by accident and so that's why it's good to have discernment you know to pick up on signs that um, somebody could possibly betray you because Jesus knew Ju Judas was going to betray him before it happened and that's because he had discernment he 
I'm sure there was, there was, I'm pretty sure there were signs leading up to the betrayal that, of course, Jesus knew, um, apart from him being God, he already knew anyway, but being, but not, but even being in human form, there are signs you can see that somebody's going to betray you. So, always trust God, always have discernment, pray for discernment. Pray to, for God to reveal those closest to you because just because somebody's close to you, just because you've been friends with somebody for 20, 30, 40 years doesn't mean that they can't harbor resentment or harbor even or have insecurity and have jealousy towards you because they see you're doing well and in their life they might they might not be close to God or feel inad or they feel inadequate. Also um, they could not be saved and allow the devil to enter their heart. Just like um, what happened with Judas. He wasn't saved. And Satan was, a, was able to control Judas's heart and enter his heart. But through us believers, we don't have that. We may get thoughts to where the devil is trying to cause division and sow discord. And he could do that through lies, through telling and, and believing lies about somebody, right? Or somebody believing lies about you. So it's just like one of those things where you have to be very um, spiritually in tune and trust the Lord. And um, don't ignore the signs. And if God gives you a warnings or feelings, like, neg like gut feelings, I guess you could say, a lot of the times it's the Holy Spirit kind of nudging you like, hey, this person... Um, Internally, you may feel like a, a discontentment, or you may feel like a, a urgency of, I don't want to say worry, but of an urgency of um, warning. And you can, make, you can feel it in your spirit. So, like, you know, that's, like, pretty important to pay attention to. <laughs> because we know in the Bible with like David and Saul. Saul was unhappy about the call on David's life. He was unhappy and jealous and envious and afraid that David would take his place, which was destined to which was the part of the the, the destiny for David. And Saul obviously didn't like that, so he took things in his own hands, but God protected him, right? And David didn't even want ill will towards Saul. So that just goes to show his heart. So your heart is pure, and your heart is able to connect to the Father with love, to even love your enemies, which is not, which is like. You know, you can't really do that unless you have the Holy Spirit. And so what I'm saying, what I'm really trying to say is that just because somebody's close to you doesn't necessarily mean they're your friend or if they're in your family, doesn't necessarily mean that they're, they're happy for you or care about you the way you think, the way you may think. So I think God's trying to break the mold of tradition and what we believe is quote unquote right or wrong. Um, blood does not mean I mean in the physical sense um, does not necessarily mean family. Your family is truly somebody who loves you and cares about you enough to warn you to educate you, to steer you in the right direction, and to fellowship with you in a pure in a pure way. But sometimes we don't see that. Sometimes it's hard to see because we have good hearts. We we, we want to see the best in people. At least I do. I want to see the best in so like a lot of people, but it's just not the case, you know. Many times. So that's it. I think that's it. I think that's the video. <laughs> Um, I feel like God's put in my spirit Proverbs. I feel like 
God wants me to read that book, but also I think he wants you to read that book to gain insight and wisdom. God is really, really highlighting wisdom to me lately, and I've been asking for it just because of the fact that, like, with wisdom you can have everything. And uh, Solomon asked for wisdom, and God was very happy about that and pleased about that. So... If you ask for wisdom, God will be pleased about that. And wisdom accompanies everything. You can gain wisdom in everything. In finances, in relationship, um, how to uh, how to foster good relationships, how to connect with people, how to speak, how to operate in the world while being a Christian. Like all these things like that wisdom can teach you that is so valuable it's it's in inval- it's you can't buy it's not it's not you can't put a price on it you know it's just something that is um greater like the bible says greater than i forget riches or something or greater than like diamonds or rubies something like that i can't remember but yeah <sighs> um Here in like 216, I don't know why. Maybe that means something to someone. 216. Maybe it's Proverbs. I don't know. Something about 216. But um, tell me you feel like. Um, well, I'll say this for another video. Yeah, I'll end it here. Quick prayer. Um, thank you, Father, for another day. Thank you, God, for a beautiful day. Thank you, God, for having grace on us and mercy on us. And from our shortcomings, we pray against all the attacks of the devil. We pray against all the lies. And we pray. For your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we pray for your 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 kingdom to come. We pray for divine connections. We pray for our soulmate. We pray for our other person that is meant to come into our lives to bring us happiness to some degree. Not to the fullest degree. Because only you can do that, Jesus. So we thank you. We know that you long to give us our heart's desires and we believe that they will manifest in your good timing in jesus name amen all right god bless peace